Hi guys, this is Rishabh Kapoor from WebSoftTutorials.com. In this video, guys, we will talk about pages in WordPress. Means how can you create a page in WordPress? How can you enter content in WordPress pages? And how can you create a child page in WordPress? So, firstly, guys, in order to create a page, we will click on this Pages tab. You will see a sample page which is created by default when we will install the WordPress. Now, if if we want to, if you want to create a new page, you need to click on this Add New. Or you can click on from here. Both will take you to this page. Firstly, you need to enter the title of the page. So I will write home. Okay, I will write about us. Then you can simply write your content here. If you will select the visual, you can write the content. This is the content of about us page. You can use these uh, bold, italic, strike, or not at least list and alignments from here. And if you have good understanding or good knowledge of HTML and CSS, then you need to select from uh, select on this text, and you can simply use the HTML and CSS here. Then after that, you want to make it a parent page or child page. If you want to make it a parent page just uh, you don't need to click anything else just uh, it will be uh, not parent will be selected by default so you need to click on this publish if you want don't want to make this page a child page then click on this view page now I can see a bars page and one thing uh, if you want to remove this uh, comment section from the page what do you need to do? You need to go to the page and click on this screen options. And you need to select discussion and comments. Then you need to scroll down and un uncheck this allow comments and allow trackbacks and ping, ping backs on pages. And you need to click on this update button. And then you need to refresh your page. Then you will see the comment section will be not on the screen. Now, this is our about us page. Now guys, I want to tell you how can you create a uh, child page in WordPress. Means what are child pages? Just, uh, just for an example, if I am creating my about us menu or about us page, maybe I want to give more information about my company like history of my company, what we do and what are the services we are providing. Means if I want to uh, give some information about history of my company then I'll create a child page of a bar page so click on this add new so I'll write history okay so you need to write okay I'll select a visual in this page I will give you I'll tell you about history of our organization then if you want to make it a child page then firstly you need to click on this drop down menu and you need to select about us means you need to select its parent page then it will be the child page of about us page then click on this publish button and click on view page you can see this is the history now guys I want to show you that what is the main purpose of uh, doing this for that uh, we need to go to settings and click on permalinks and you need to click on this post name you need to uh, select this radio button post name and click save changes now you need to refresh now in the URL you can see a bar is means firstly the name of the, our folder then forward slash about us which is the parent page and after that a forward slash history which is the child page means it will help the search engines to find this page means this page is the child page of about us page so it will help, help the search engine optimizer or SEO to optimize your website I mean uh, if I refresh this about us page now I can see forward slash about us and if we will open the child page about us forward slash history so guys maybe it will happen that these permalinks will not work 
on local host because sometimes uh, you will face problem regarding this but if you will uh, do this on the live server you will not face any problem regarding permalinks so if you, it is not working from your side so don't be confused or don't worry it will work automatically when you will upload it to the main server I'm just demonstrating it that what is the main purpose of child pages and guys you can see this menu is here about us history guys in the next video we will talk about menus and in which I will tell you that how can you manage your menus like how can you create drop down menu and how can you make drop down menu of uh, more of more than one level and sec and I will tell you I'll also tell you that how can you manage your menu according to the post categories means I want to show some post uh, uh, of my PHP post in post uh, PHP menu I want to show my post of HTML in HTML menu so in the next video I will, we will talk about menus so in this uh, so and then I want to tell you what we have covered in this tutorial firstly how can we create pages how can you create child pages and how we can write content in these pages first one is the visual way and second ways if you will select the text means if you have good knowledge of HTML and CSS then you can write directly here so let me show you one more example that how can you use HTML and CSS here firstly guys if you want to create a CSS class you know that we use style tags style type equal to text CSS and be ensured that the text is already selected from here then close the style tags firstly you need to write the name of the class means if you want to create any CSS class on ID you can write here then I will give it a color of red and then after that I will use a h2 tag here and I will use this class uh, with this h2 tag so h2 class red and you need to click on this update button now refresh now I can see the font color is red now because we have applied this red class to this uh, to this uh, to these to this content and one more thing which I will do that uh, I will remove this allow comments and low trackbacks and pingbacks I will uncheck this and I will click on this update so that the comments box will be removed so guys with the uh, so guys you can see that how can you use CSS and HTML inside your pages means how can you write content in these pages so guys if you still have any question in mind you can leave a comment below or you can go to my description forum so thanks for watching this video guys don't forget to subscribe my channel to get recent updates about my videos let's see in the next tutorial